put your hands together for Carl Bennett! So, just a quick question. Is, is money haunted now? <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw on the news earlier that her body's lying in state, but they don't say which state, solid, liquid, gas. <laughs> when I die, I don't want to be cremated, I want to be liquefied. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to witness is no illusion, because I don't know any magic. But if you could for me in your mind, pick a card, any card, but don't tell me. Good, right, you're listening. <laughs> Idioms are funny things. Uh, they say if, uh, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. However, you can kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> so, like, like, first off, why was your on. I haven't got. That's not. <laughs> first of all, why was short on stones all of a sudden? Granted, there aren't many here now, but give me five minutes, I'll get more. I'll leave no stone unturned. <laughs> Second of all, stones aren't perishable. Once you've thrown it, you can pick it back up. If you're lucky, with two dead birds. So not to beat around the bush. <laughs> but essentially, you can kill an infinite number of birds with a single stone. So, the saying should be, uh, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. But a stone in the hand is a fucking nightmare for the birds. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's a, that's a solid joke, that, to be honest. Uh, penny for your thoughts? Well, the penny saved is a penny. So give it to your fucking self. Uh, do you ever notice those little locks people put on bridges? Yeah. Don't it make you think, like, who the fuck's out here stealing a bridge? <laughs> if you could steal a bridge, what's that little fucking lock gonna do to stop the pirates of the high canal? <laughs> I found out people put them on there for like a symbolic reason, to commemorate people who have passed away. It's a little ironic because the more people that die, the more locks accumulate on the bridge. Eventually the bridge collapses. <laughs> killing further people. <laughs> meaning more locks on fewer bridges. <laughs> vicious cycle. Is it there? Uh, Catch-22 actually. <laughs> we'll just wait for these guys to fall. <laughs> Now the rest of you, fucking don't join in. <laughs> You'll encourage them. Um, who was like, uh, fucking, yeah, so we have a Cast 22. So one of my favorite Cast 22s from school was like, uh, would you rather fuck a goat, nobody knows you fucked a goat, or not fuck a goat, but everyone thinks you fucked a goat? <laughs> threatening question, especially if they have a goat with them. <laughs> How do you answer something like that? Easy, fuck the goat, tell people you fuck the goat, live your life. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? I'll don't invite Kyle to the party, he fucks goats. Oh, that's alright, we'll put Kevin in, uh, we'll put Sean in his pen. We don't own a fucking goat. Or do you want to get Kevin around, talk about investment strategies? Fuck that, get the goat fucker, just don't give him a plus one. <laughs> Some people do for fun, is it? Um, what do I do for fun? I like to go to a place called uh, Diggerland. You ever heard of it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a theme park full of JCB machinery. I mean, Alton Towers is great, but you're not getting off oblivion thinking, oh, I could get one of these for the backyard. But at Diggerland, that's totally within the realms of possibility. And if you, if you really wanted to, you could buy the entire park and turn it into a massive fucking hole. I mean, that's real fun. Not just destroying the place, but removing the very earth it was built on. <laughs> you notice, uh, you, you tend to take longer showers when you're lonely. <laughs> just me, alone again. <laughs> well, scientists did a study that found that the people that, that are lonely tend to, tend to substitute emotional warmth for long showers. Uh, which is something I like to think about during my safety time shower. <laughs> In the assumed position on the floor, uh, the back, might not be able to see me, so... Um, I'm in the assumed position on the floor. <laughs> the water's running over my head, <laughs> down my back and over my belly. Much like the warming embrace of a loved one, now that I think about it. Um, and that's when it hits me, though. I'll never be able to feel the love of those around me, because I'm, I'm too closed off. Uh, I've built up too many walls. I don't feel like I, d I deserve the love of those around me. I don't feel like I'm worth it. And I slap the L'Oreal bottle out of my face. 
and I get up and the water running over my body and down my penis looks like I'm peeing and that cheers me. <laughs> then the water turns cold and drags me back to the hard lonely reality from whence I came. So I, I turn it off and I get out, panting. I could have fucking slipped and died, you guys didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Uh, anyway, back to the... So I get out and I'm shivering, so I grab, I grab the towel. But it's wet from my obsessive showering! So I don't know, I guess I, I take a bath or something. Alright, I'll admit, the ending of that joke fucking sucked, okay? But where do I go from there? Alright, this isn't a workshop, you guys, sorry? Bring the goat in. Bring the goat in. We'll get to that later, all right? There's, another, there's a callback coming, just fucking be patient. <laughs> you, know, you thought that bit was so like, like, I know it was fucking great. I'm gonna reference it again. I'm not blind to that, don't worry. Um, it's fucking everyone's, I hate it. Everyone just loves it. Goat fuck. Oh, you said goat fucker on stage. Pathetic. <laughs> that idiom joke was amazing. I should be fucking giving a. I'm way off tro tro topic. But you paid, this isn't a workshop, I'm sorry. Um, um, so, what was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I get, I get lonely sometimes. Like, I get so lonely I cry, but you know, that's the best time to cry, isn't it? no witnesses. Uh, my therapist was like, uh, have you have, have been having any suicidal thoughts lately? I'm like, yeah, now, don't come at me like that, man, because you saying suicide makes me think of suicide. And I fucking love suicide, so don't say suicide. Um, but I think, I'm, you know, I'm, an, I'm a fucking idiot. Every, every thought I have is potentially suicidal. But that's men in general, isn't it? Uh, they say men kill themselves in greater numbers. I just think we're all stupid. I mean, if, we, if we're not killing each other, we're killing ourselves. Okay, that will... Uh, <laughs> we'll move on to something lighter. Oh wait, no, I missed a bit. Uh, yeah, I, don't, uh, no, like, no, I, I don't agree with suicide. Um, I think every form of cue jumping is a sin. <laughs> wait your fucking turn. No. Okay, we'll move on to something lighter. I think abortion is a sin. I, uh, I think we make God angry when we take away his right to kill an unborn child. <laughs> I, find people that are, I find people that are, are, are against abortion are often for the death penalty. Which is a little ironic. Like, that's like agreeing that we should go back in time and kill Hitler for his crimes, but not as a baby. I'm inclined to agree. Maybe we shouldn't really have to kill Hitler at all to show him some support through his artistic years or something. <laughs> like, either way, though, the war's going to happen. But look, right, you give me a gun and a time machine, and I'll hand you a child's corpse. <laughs> <laughs> you, say to, uh, you say kill, I say how old. <laughs> um, so, yeah, my partner. Uh, my partner lives in, an, in another country, you know, as far away from me as fucking possible. <laughs> Makes it weird when she kicks me out. I'm like, well, you're not even, why? Symbolic, something like that. Um, anyway, whenever she visits, she goes to the condom. She's like, oh, one's missing. Have you been cheating on me? I'm like, oh, thanks for your faith. It's like, what about, did you fuck a goat? I'm like, can, like, can we just... Uh, not, uh, one time in high school. Does she have a posh wank? I'm like, a posh wank? I look at dead in the eyes. I'm like, the oceans are rising. You think I'm gonna jizz into a plastic bag for the sake of decadence? <laughs> no, what I do is I, I get on my back. And I arch over. And I come directly into my own mouth. <laughs> Recycling, innit? <laughs> Protein, as they say. Um, but whenever, whenever I visit her, I get to bring back some tobacco on the cheap, which is my legal right and my British obligation, I might add. Um, but whenever I'm getting patted down by customs inspections, I reminisce about my mother when, when I was younger. She tried to bring back as much tobacco uh, as, as she legally could. I mean, she really take advantage of that per person tobacco limit. And like security, she'd be like, grab my suitcase full of it. And su uh, security would ask no questions as to why an eight-year-old child is traveling with six months worth of rolling tobacco. <laughs> and though they shouldn't, because that's British culture. Utilizing our children as legalized drug mules. 
Uh, speaking of drugs, I was picking up some weed recently. I mean, obviously. I mean, we came, named Kyle, for fuck's sake. <laughs> and the guy pulled up. And the pulled up in the back of a taxi. I gave him the money, he gave me the, the drugs, and he left. In the back of a taxi. Okay, maybe you're not buying what I'm selling here. This guy works outside the law. He sells drugs for a living. He still got up and thought, ah, fuck it. I'll get an Uber to work. <laughs> um, but me or you or any other functioning member of society, because he is a functioning member of society. I mean, how do you fix an, an economy? You get everybody involved. I give him money, he gives the cab driver money. That's two sets of kids that get to eat that night. I get to get high, win-win. Um, anyway, well, mind blank gone. Uh, does anyone here own a, own a wireless Hoover? <laughs> Why not, man? Untether yourself. Be boundless. Suck wherever you go. Um, I got I got one recently, and uh, you can take it wherever you want. I took mine on holiday. Took it to the beach. Found a kid building a sandcastle. Just fucking. <laughs> No one can hear him cry, right? Because the fucking Hoover's too loud. And I mean, he's leaving to cry. And you've got this canister full of sand, right? Like, almost as if it was fucking designed for it. You just pop the bottom and bang, another fucking sandcastle. Genius. I was like, what else could I take to the beach? So when I got a, uh, a leaf blower, found the same fucking kid, just Rrr! eat sand, fuckhead. Rrr! Where are your parents, man? <laughs> in this world I've created. Uh, I did that joke uh, uh, a few weeks ago and some, somebody in the, the, front ro the front row responded uh, that they don't have a hoover because they're poor. I just want to clarify, that these are just jokes. Nothing I say on stage is true. I don't own a wireless hoover. I don't even own a hoover. I use a dustpan and brush. All right, but such is the fucking magnitude of my creative genius that I can theorize, theorize about experiences I've never had. Um, there's Stuart Lee for you there. Thank you for the clap. Um, <laughs> Um, people, are, there are people out here dying from hysterical <coughs> politics and there are other people who think cats are better than dogs because they don't work for the police. <laughs> dogs don't work for the police either, man. That's, they don't get paid. That's slave labour. They've been brainwashed by puppy gander. <laughs> like, uh, none of you guys would know the uh, living wage for a dog. I think the, the, the pandemic affected dogs the worst, man, because they were stuck in houses full of people complaining they couldn't go out for a walk whenever they wanted. Like, bro, that's my entire life. Just running around the garden like, oh, the government told me to do it. <laughs> I don't think cats are any better either, man, because who are they related to? Lions. I don't know if you've seen uh, Lion King, but I think we know who the lions represent. All right, people in power, king of the jungles. They don't even fucking live in the jungle. All right. Second of all, why do they get to sit on Pride Rock and claim that everything is everything the light touches is there? Oh, because a circle of life says so. Funny how this circle is shaped like a fucking triangle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's pretty much been everything. Um, I am. I'll be selling tickets um, after the show. Uh, you can you can fight me if you want. <laughs> Ten pounds, sixty seconds. No winners, no losers. Just a good old fashioned fight. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Another big hand for Carl, please. Thank you so much.